In today's video, we're going to review the Submittal module and workflow a submittal from draft to acceptance. Submittals are the prime communication method for the construction team to receive approval from the design team on final selections of equipment, materials, or final layout. These submissions can be in the form of shop drawings, manufacturer's cut sheets, specifications, or even physical samples. As the number of submittals on even a small project can reach hundreds if not thousands of individual records, it's critical there is a consistent, concise, and streamlined methodology for managing each individual submission to ensure that the project stays on schedule and budget. Let's look at how inertia manages the submittal workflow and life cycle. To understand how inertia manages submittals, we need to first talk about the different phases. First is a draft mode from the general contractor or subcontractor who is generating the submittal. When the final selections and appropriate documentation have been collected, it's time to submit for review to the design team. Once in the design team's domain, they review the submission and approve or reject according to the adherence of design documentation. If rejected, this submittal goes back to the author for revision. This process continues until ultimately the submittal is accepted by the design team and the final selections have been approved. In inertia, the draft mode of the submittal is the submittal register. A general contractor or subcontractor can at any time create a new register item where it stays in draft mode until it's time to submit to the design team. To create a register item, navigate through the left-hand side panel to Submittal, Submittal Register. From the Submittal Register, click Add Register and that will create a new Submittal line item within the draft view. The list view of Submittal Register items is interactive. Double-click on any of the cells to edit the information. For example, to associate a Master Format Specification section with our newly created register item, Double-click on Spec section in the item row and you'll be presented with a drop-down list of specification sections that have been configured for this project. Scroll to the appropriate section number and select it. To save the record, be sure to click Update. Scrolling to the right, you'll see a number of other column headings for different information pertinent to your submittal. You can also click Add Edit Draft, and that will bring a single dialog showing all the submittal fields. After you've completed filling out the form, click Save. Once you have reviewed and saved the information from the submittal register, it is ready to submit to the design team for review. Click Submit for Review and assign it to the appropriate party. After you click Save, they will be able to workflow the record and approve or reject the submittal accordingly. If the submittal I just created here in the register is similar to ones I will do multiple times throughout the project, I can simply duplicate the entry here and save a lot of time from re-entering the same information. In Inertia, a submittal package is the combination of the submittal record along with any accompanying documentation. Now that the submittal package has been passed on to the designer for review, let's look at the submittal list and check its status. From the left-hand side panel, navigate to Submittal, Submittal List, and here you will see the complete list of all of the submittals that are currently in the approval workflow. As the number of submittal and submittal registers grow on a project, it can become increasingly difficult to find a specific record. Using the search capabilities on the left side of the list, you're able to use any of the record fields as a filter. In this case, I want to search on all of the submittals where the status is under review. I change the status to under review and then click perform search. A quick glance to the bottom right corner and I see the 244 submittals has now been filtered down to 70. I could add additional filters further refining my search result. Should this be a query I expect to perform throughout the course of the project, I can click Save Filter, give the filter a name, and restore it at a later time. This search works in both the submittal register and the submittal list. In this case, I'm acting as the architect who is reviewing the particular submittal 
looking at the submittal details, I have workflow options here in the top right. After I've reviewed the package, I can click status package where I'll type in any necessary comments and change the package status per my review. This submittal meets my design criteria, and so I approve it as submitted. Once I click Save, I can see the status in this record has been changed to Approved as Submitted. Other workflow options include reopening a previously closed submittal, requesting a comment on the current submittal, as well as reassign this submittal to another stakeholder. Within the details of this submittal, I can create a CC list of parties to be notified when information about this submittal has been distributed. I also have the entire history of this record, as well as any uploaded files that have been attached. As my role is that of a reviewer, I can add additional reviewers to take part in this specific submittal. Lastly, it's a discussion board where we have the opportunity to create an internal dialogue. In summary, the submittal workflow follows as such. The general contractor or subcontractor create a submittal register item where it stays as a draft until they have attached the appropriate documentation and submitted it for review. The appropriate reviewer is automatically notified through email that the submittal is ready for their review. Once the submittal has been reviewed and the status of the package is updated, an automatic email notification is sent. Thank you for watching this video on submittals with Inertia. For more training videos and documentation, visit help.inertiasystems.com.